Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. So I just passed my security plus on my first try. Um, I wanted to show all the resources that I used. So I don't have much background in cybersecurity, but I do have my A plus. I've had it for about six years. So I do hope these resources will help you out. I'll try to focus on a lot of free resources as well. So let's get to it. So the first resource that I used was the exam cram. That's my go-to. It also helped me pass the A+. You know, I use the A+, version of exam cram. So I'm familiar with it. So this one in particular, I ordered from Amazon for about 40 bucks. I recommend checking your local library if they have it. Um, hopefully, you know, the one in my library was always checked out. So I just bought my own. So one problem with this resource is there's no practical base questions to practice on. So, but it does have 35 chapters with great explanations. It has 35 quizzes, a quiz for each chapter, and there's explanations for each answer. Exam cram sheet, which is great to um, review before the test. Two online practice tests and practice tests for uh, chapter questions. So I also like the offline Windows version of this if you don't have stable internet. So here's kind of a preview of the setting. So like I said, there's two exams and then the um, quiz by chapter. So there's flashcards. I never really use the flashcards much. I was always on the study mode, but that's just me. I'm a slow learner. You can save your exam settings. Uh, what I was doing was just 10 questions a day too. Um, I didn't overwhelm myself. Sometimes I do 35, you know, one question for each objective, but it's really up to you. Um, there's a lot of settings that you can do and play around with, but I really like exam cram, really helped me out a lot. Uh, next resource I recommend is exam premium for uh, the practical based questions. So I'll put links in the description below too. So this is a free resource. Here's the website. Um, really, really helpful. So let me show you guys a little bit of it. So simulation Q3, Q4, let's uh, click on Q3 real quick. And uh, just a heads up, you know, it's a free resource, but you will see a lot of ads. So just be kind of careful, um, for example, like this. And then uh, let me show you a couple more. And then I want to show you guys how the answers uh, show up also, because um, it has explanations too. So I really, I really like this um, free resource, uh, like this one. And let's pick another one here. So I found it really, really helpful. Um, simulation six. So this is a good example. Um, the raid, raid examples. So if you scroll down, uh, there's something that says show answer. The other one, so you could have shown the answer, but uh, for this one, uh, as you can see, there's an explanation in the bottom and then it shows you how to um, answer the question. So I found this really, really helpful, especially for the PBQ. That was my major issue, the practical based uh, questions. Uh, that's what I lacked uh, review materials on. So next resource, another free resource is I would go to the pop quiz of the Professor Messer. Professor Messer. So you just have to go to the website, scroll down. Like I said, I'll put a link in the description below as well. Um, and I do the pop quiz every few days. So it really threw um, curveballs at me. Like this question actually is a pretty hard question. Uh, I think it's this NIST RMF is the answer to this. So what I like about this also is when you, um, even if you get the wrong answers, oh, I got it right. Um, it's going to show you in the bottom there, kind of a short explanation. So, you know, the problem with um, doing things repetitively is I start to memorize things. Um, so it was good to have a, doing a pop quiz, you know, once in a while to um, kind of test my knowledge. So that was really helpful for me. Another free resource, Exam Compass. I found this really useful. Um, so I already pre-filled like 25 questions. It's, it, this is great to test your knowledge. So let me just do finish here. I kind of just cut through it. I kind of just randomly filled out the, uh, you know, but they have a lot of practice tests for, um, exam compass. As you can see here, like you can see, you got the answer correct. Let me show you some incorrect ones. Uh, one major, um, problem with this one is you don't really get a lot of an explanation. So it's good to test your knowledge, but... If you're trying to learn stuff, this might not be the best resource for you just yet. Um, but, you know, it's a free resource too, but just a heads up. Also, you're going to see a bunch of ads, as you can see on the bottom of my screen there. So pretty interesting stuff. Um, it was good to practice on it, though. But uh, in terms of learning something new, you might not learn because of the lack of explanation. 
So another thing I did was also I just Google search CompTIA Security Plus performance based questions. There's this interesting handout I found. So um, I'll put a link to it too. So it's a handout from 2013, but it really helped taught me the basics because I was struggling learning the PBQ4 um, IP addresses and stuff. So I'll put a link to this one directly too. It's a PDF handout, 26 pages, but uh, really, really useful. Um, this handout seems like, looks like it was made from uh, 2013. But if you scroll down here, this is very, very basic, but it gets more advanced as you go along. So a uh, simple firewall configuration, uh, very, very basic, because honestly, that was my major issue studying for the test. I didn't know anything about stuff like this, um, the formatting, the test style, and then here's a more advanced one. So it shows you the answer, and there's an explanation in the bottom. But um, if I scroll down to the next one, see, this is a little bit more advanced. So basically what I mean is um, it helped me get a foundational knowledge of solving these type of questions, uh, which was really, really useful. You know, so it's another free resource. I highly recommend it too, um, unless you're really good at the networking part. So like the destination ports, uh, thanks to exam cram, I was able to memorize them. And then you're going to see the allow deny, the TCP. Really, really good stuff. Um, but yeah, 26 pages. Um, I highly recommend checking out the PDF. There's a lot of other free resources out there as well. Um, but if you're a, a rookie like me who doesn't know much about cybersecurity, you know, um, I also I recommend checking uh, your local library because this is just SFPL. But um, they have a lot of ebooks and a lot of paper books available. Also, you can request books too. Um, but they were so in demand though. I had to return a book like every three weeks. So and there was always a hold on it. So the good thing in um, California, I don't know about other places, but um, any California resident can like go to like San Francisco Public Library, even though you're not uh, from San Francisco and get a library card. So if you have the budget too, um, I recommend getting a cert, cert Blaster. It was, um, I used the coupon, it was about 100 bucks with the coupon. So this is uh, just a snapshot um, kind of a, from their YouTube, uh, one of the performance-based questions which I was trying to practice a lot. So I, I did buy Cert Blaster. I do recommend it. So when you buy it, you have the drill. So it's separated by domains, you know, one, two, three, four, and five. So whatever my weakness was, I can just work on that. And then there's also the exam drills. So this was really, really good. Um, so I'm not gonna show any content because I don't wanna get in trouble, but you can see here for one of them, you can see like there's 111 questions. You can change it to like 10 or whatever, or 90. Um, I only did 10 at a time, but the PBQ for Cert Blaster, really helpful if you have the budget. Um, that's kind of my main thing too. Um, but a lot of the free resources should do the trick as well. And then here's like for the exams, you can see like there's uh, one, two, three, four exams. Uh, a lot of questions, 90 questions. And then, yeah, I always did study mode because um, I always wanted to learn and get an explanation for the answer, which really helped me understand and uh, prepare for the test. And then, um, yeah, there should be uh, one more resource that I recommend uh, if you have the budget. So Cert Master, um, it was a hard resource, honestly, hard to understand. You can do the free trial or if you get the bundle like what I did, um, you will have access to it. I honestly had a hard time understanding the way the formatting was done, but I have to say the PBQ for the certain master was also really helpful. But in my opinion, um, not a necessary resource. And this is an expensive resource as well. I mean, if you get the bundle with the two vouchers, it's like $700 uh, USD. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but you can also sign up for the free trial. But honestly, um, the questions on the cert master were kind of hard. I mean, I would always fail the practice quiz and stuff, but anywho, that's all I have for this video. I do hope this helps you out. And like I said, I'll put a link for everything in the description below. Thank you everybody for watching. Take it easy.